Hey everyone. Gonna be a fun stream today. Alright, so I said I was doing a challenge run of Mario 3. Yeah, basically. This is called an aesthetic run. Um, basically, I'm not allowed to collect coins or gain any points unless it's absolutely necessary for progression. Um, I think there is like a kill button to make it to turn off the hack features basically because uh, as I'll show you here in a second If we go into a world and Collect any point so if I stop the Scoomba, I'm dead And as I said before, it also includes coins, so if I just collect this here coin, I'm dead. And the same applies to if I get a power-up. Oh no, it crashed. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay, we're good. Hiccups will happen. Alright, um, fortunately, to make it a little bit easier, I also have infinite lives, so... Oh, good. Um, I think I can activate a power-up. Wait, that's not the right crew on. As an experiment, I do want to try this. Um, I think I can activate a power-up, but if I collect it, I get points and die. So, um, the only way I'll actually be able to use power-ups in this game is if I get them from a toad house or a letter or something. But yeah, basically, uh, don't touch anything. The Mario 3 run. Um, at least I have infinite lives, so don't have to worry about game overing. So yeah, every level, just gotta play it slow, hope for the best. Other than that, it's uh, Vanilla Mario 3, which I'm fairly decent at, I think. Um, obviously, I can do things like collect points at the end to end the level. Those are required. No way around that. Um, time doesn't matter, too, so things like that. Or, uh, I think uh, collecting the little coin thing at the end of fortresses and such counts as points too, but that won't kill me, obviously. Um, the really tricky thing is uh, if you end a level and there's enemies on screen, it will kill the enemies, which will give you- oh, shoot. Which will give you points. So, that's a thing to worry about. Ah, uh, yeah, this is only working with the All-Stars version, as far as I know. It would be cool if it worked with the original, but, uh... This is actually made for Rao Kao by one of his, um, forum members, so... They made it public, fortunately! There we go. Can't slide to safety here. Okay, all good. Wasn't scared. I think this is the end. Yeah, we're good. On the plus side, I don't have to worry about getting three stars or anything like that or doing the bonuses. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do every world, but I'm not going to do every level. So um, I do want that Toad House, so I will do either three or four. Um, I'm thinking three will be easier. So I absolutely cannot get the bonus level because that involves breaking blocks, which will give me points. Uh, just for an experiment. Oh wait, no, I can't even like bop him without getting points. That was dumb. Bye, mom. So yeah, absolutely no bonus area. Um, there's a flower in, or a leaf rather in one of these, so I can need to avoid hitting that one. Oh, oops. <laughs> I 
I'm doing this all for a single power-up, but it might be worth it later on. I'm also going to be at, like, one hit for the majority of this run, so having any help is good. Actually, watch out for enemies. Good, good, good. I think this is pretty much the end of the level. Oops, I think I turned it off. There we go. Yeah, holding the shoulder buttons turns it on and off, so I need to not habitually hit those. Is there anybody at the end I need to worry about? No, okay. I play Mario 3 every... maybe once a year or so, I end up playing it. So I'm doing a little something different this time. For those of you just joining, I'm playing a um, hacked version of Mario 3, so I can't get any points or any coins, or I will be killed instantly. Let me make sure I have it back on still, because... Oh wait, there's nothing really to kill here. After this place, I will try. Hell you. Can't go up there and take the shortcut. Can't even temporarily bop those guys. We're good. Alright, so hopefully, just kidding, this guy won't have to ki won't kill me. Okay, we're good. Oh no. I forgot how to fight Boom Boom. Shameful. It's fine, we got him. Alright. Oh no. Uh, can I kill these guys? Okay, I can kill those guys. I guess the hack is smarter than I thought it was, or I have the thing turned on still. Let's hop into the next level and find out. I think there's an enemy me right at the beginning here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's still on, so it's a very smart hack. Hammer bros are okay to kill. And I can get the power-ups. Not that a star is ever going to do me any good, but... Alright, so I can't slide down here like I normally would. Ooh, no, 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 no. So do enemies respawn in this game? A la Mega Man? I know they do to an extent. Okay. It's not like per screen or anything silly. So there's also going to be places like, I think I can actually take this bonus world as a shortcut, even though it's not really a shortcut. So there are a couple worlds where killing enemies is required, like the uh, one in, I think it's world two, where you have, no, it's like way later in world five or six or something where you have to fly up. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, so just never take the bonus areas. Gotcha. All right, get to do this part again. Oh, hell momentum. Okay, now. Super good that I have those infinite lives. There we go. Just have to push the correct buttons. Simple.
All right, let's not be stupid and take the secret area. Yep, I have infinite lives. I don't have to worry about game overing or, or anything like that, which is good. It's at least merciful that way. So this is where I come out of the... No, wait, it's over here. This is where I drop down from the thing. Just gotta not get yeeted by this fire flower here. Oh! I got yeeted by the fire flower. Perfect. Fire piranha, rather. Oh yeah, there's no checkpoints in Mario levels, huh? Alright, let's see if I can do this area quickly. There we go. Was going way too fast at the end there, but I didn't die. It's all good. It's down here easier. I haven't like been on this bottom path in forever. I mean, you always take the secret area here, don't you? Yeah, that would just be tedious. I think it would be too much with infinite light or with uh not infinite lives. Unless you're like a hardcore weirdo. I'm sure that's easy to turn off. Even if like you have to hack it yourself. Oh yeah, he won't spawn right away if I do it slowly. Good to know for the future. Just gotta not die up here. Anybody over here? No. Safe. Alright, we're out of there. Just have to now this world and I get a new item. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Hmm. Let me think. Okay, can't L jump quite like that. Um, I forget the death rules and all stars version exactly how they work. I think it's pretty much the same. Or I think it works the same as in original. Um, I know it's different in like the older ones where there were like no checkpoints or anything. But like uh Mario All Stars. Do I have to like do I have to use an item here to get by? Cause I am not thinking of another way unless I can actually do this jump, right? Do I have enough takeoff area here if I use a feather or something? Can I just... No, I can't. Okay. So this is interesting. Alright, so I have one shot at this, basically. In fact, I should probably put a save state here. Actually, wait, no, I don't need to. If I fail it, I can just turn the hack off. Because I'm not sure if this is possible without an item, and I only have one item. Oh, I didn't even try. <laughs> Alright. I don't know, the All-Stars version is pretty much the same, but it's always felt a little bit sluggish to me. Okay, I know I can at least clear the first coin if I do a hook jump. I just don't know to what extent that will actually help me. Yeah, see. Okay, yeah, this is impossible with the hack, so I will have to turn it off for this part. Alright, so it should be off. Wait, did I get hit or did I coin die and not turn it off? Maybe it's L to turn it off. And R just turns it on. I should definitely look at the instructions, instructions at some point. 
Is there like an on and off indicator I'm missing somewhere? Anybody I have to hold it? Okay. And now it should be back on, right? Yeah, okay, I got it. That's really cool. So if there are just like niche situations like this, you don't have to worry about toggling it manually. You just have to hold down the button. So now I am holding down the button and I can collect stuff just fine. So let's get this part cleared out. All right, my finger is off the button, so things will kill me again. In theory. I still feel like it's possible if I just had like a feather or if I had a leaf and didn't use it like an idiot. Ooh, that was spicy. But it looks spicier than it was, I guess. I think there's. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm trying to think of where the enemies are, so I'm forgetting where like everything else is. See, now if I hit this guy with it, or if I hit the goal while this dude's on screen, I die. But. Gotta wait for him to leave. That's gonna lead to some tricky situations later. Especially when it starts throwing Lakitus at me. Alright, gotta get through an airship without bonking a single cannonball. Can I skip past here in these? I thought you could. Don't you crash. <laughs> it has weird moments where it acts like it's gonna like completely crash, but in fact I should probably save to make sure it doesn't, or in case it does happen rather. So yeah, normally this part isn't really much of an issue because you can just kind of stand on the corners of those cannons and you'll just bop the cannonball right away, but you can't do that here. This is probably a fairly quick and dirty hack job, so... Alright, that wasn't so bad. Just gotta not die. Oh, he jumps! <laughs> I thought the first Koopa kid just spun around. Probably should have went in with a mushroom or something, but... Thank you for the follow, Merp. Hey now. All right. Attempt two. Let's learn how this, like, 20-year-old game works. There we go. Easy. I'm not a speedrunner, so I can jump. Oh good, I remembered my water bottle. Alright. World 1 was a learning process, but we got it. Yeah, I'm liking this hack a lot. It leads to some uh, interesting situations, even already. And we have a P-Wing in case we really need to skip a level. I should keep a counter of how many times I actually have to use, this, to use the uh, turn hack off button.
so far we're at one. All right, this part's gonna be weird because I can't bop these guys across half the level like I usually can. All good. Oops. <laughs> he chose to get killed by me. That just that doesn't count. And welcome those of you just joining us. Um I'm doing a hack where I can't collect any points or collect any coins, which means I can't kill enemies or get power-ups either. So fun times ahead. I thought the first one jumped. That's what threw me off. Is this going to jump? No. Good. The note blocks in Mario 3 suck because you can't just hold down the button. You actually have to time it. And I have totally lost that timing over my Mario years. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. This guy jumps. Alright, easy. I think I have to lure this guy away. Come on, fella. Do it again. You have to be close to these guys. We good? We good. Alright. 2-1, not so bad. Really, no point in doing the life shacks, or the life minigames, rather. Alright. I don't think I can take this safely at all! <laughs> hey, folk. Alright, so don't get on that moving. Don't get that mushroom. Don't get on the moving platform. Okay. Oh. Well, we learned that I can bonk those power up blocks without getting points, so there's that at least. Alright, this shouldn't be as hard as I'm making it out to be. Alright, we're good. Get off this now. I think we can just kind of like walk across most of the bottom and be perfectly fine. Oh, maybe not. Okay, still need to play the game. A 12 tone, ter that, uh, 12 -tone server is pretty fun. 12 tone server. Is that a tongue twister or am I just bad at speaking? Alright, don't play like an absolute fool. Still have to play the game. There we go. It's like half a water level. Alright. I think this level's pretty much done. I forget if there's something at the end or not. Uh, nope, we're good. 2-2 two, two is done. All right, Fortress 2 Fortress. Like I said, I can't even bop these guys because it'll give me points, even though they don't actually die. Very rude. Booze. Just booze. Really never many opportunities to kill booze as it is, so... One of the few things that's going to remain completely unchanged. I'm playing super cautiously because I forget exactly where there's like coins and enemies that I would normally just bop off of.
I'm gonna play this part safe, because I always mess it up the first time. If I take the upper path. We are in there. Alright, just boom boom. All good. So yeah, and as I said, the uh, ROM is pr the ROM hack is pretty smart and knows when like, or so far knows when I absolutely have to like kill an enemy to progress. So now I am wondering if I'm able to get the hammer for the uh, bonus stuff in World Three. I think I should be able to because I think the hammers are just in the uh, Hammer Bros levels. Normally I would be starring through most of this, so I actually have to play the game. Wild stuff. You don't jump. All three of these jump, I think. Yep, don't. Okay. Oh, how am I going to do this? I think I have to turn off the hack here. Alright, turning off the hack. I like that it makes a little jingle. Pop once. Oh wait, no, I have to pop them twice. There we go. I should probably hold this until this is over. <laughs> Alright, we're out of there. Hack back on. There we go. All right, cell level. This should be interesting. Um, oops, <laughs> did that out of force of habit. Um, normally at the end I would grab one of the turtle shells and kill the sun, but can't do that here. This might be an opportunity for a uh, running in with a power up and tanking some of these things, but we'll see what we can do without it first. Get past a tornado. Let the sun do its thing. Alright, we're good for a minute. <clears throat> okay, good. See, you always think he goes in like a perfect U shape, but he has that little delay on the right side. So, will this kill me? I should probably turn off the hack just in case. Okay, hack back on. One second, there we go. Oops. All right, moving on. So these guys are safe to kill, as far as I know. There we go. Not the one I wanted, but... Yeah, pretty much. It's super weird not just bouncing through half of this stuff. So yeah, the pyramid's gonna be an interesting one because I have to, like, break blocks to get through there. Um, and that's a required level. What's level 4? I always forget which one of these is which. Let's do 4 first. Okay, yeah, this level should be fine. Oh, maybe not. Okay, um, have to clear over this. Eh. Okay, we're good. Alright, what's this nonsense? Ooh, don't like this. So I think I can jump between... Oops, almost had it. Because I'm pretty sure I can't make that jump. Small enough. Let's find out. These parts are so bad, so I'm not too worried about it. That's like the hardest jump I have to land, and that's not too bad. Alright, so I don't think my tiny jump will get me over this. Oh, it will. Okay, that makes it- oh, oh! Or just like jump directly into it, that's fine too.
I could also try five, because I forget what five is. But I'm dedicated now. I'm in this. Um, as I said before, this will be a all worlds run, but it won't be an all levels run. I will be doing levels if it lets me items most of the time, though, because items are super valuable, because I can't get them... Oh wait, I can't, like, bop him to get by. To get by. Oh, was I thinking I could actually do that? Alright, let's go! Oh, I did it! <laughs> Please don't die! <laughs> I don't think I'm ever doing that again in a thousand years. Oh, there's another one. Perfect. Alright, I think I can just dash you because you'll never throw your boomerang as long as I'm right here. We're good. We're, oh, oh, uh oh, don't like this. Right, are you gonna throw your boomerangs? Yeah, okay. Do your thing. Oh, nope, that was stupid. Oh, no! Alright, let's see if we can recreate this magic. If not, uh, I might be trying five. Right, way too early. Alright, thank you, folk. Have a good night. Or I guess, uh... Closer to morning in France now. There we go. Oh wait, the second one's slightly higher. Alright, I think I can do this. Just have to time those boomerangs. Let's look at five. <laughs> oh, chain chomp level. This should be fine, because I can't really kill chain chomps most of the time anyway. I think I might want to go back and do four either way. I'm not sure yet. Wait, can I get through this? Because I think there's like a weird big coin thing coming up. Don't, don't. Okay, we're good. Alright. I think this is it. We're, oh, no! <laughs> Alright, I have to uh, disable the hack for that end, I guess. Let's find this level's much easier. Gotta not accidentally pop one of these turtles and we're fine. That's the only scary part because I can't see Mario the entire time I'm in the air. Alright. Hack disabled. Hack enabled. Oh. I enabled it too early. It's funny that it racks up points in my death state. It's not normally supposed to ever happen. Oh, that was dumb. Hi, Julian. You wanted me to, to pronounce your name, Julian. So, um, uh, this is an aesthetic hack, so I cannot collect any coins or get any points. 
which means I can't get any power-ups or hit any blocks or pop any enemies, etc. Basically, I can't interact with absolutely anything. And uh, it leads to some tricky situations, like uh, normally when you hit a goal at the end of a level, it kills all the enemies on screen, but that counts as a... Uh, that counts as points, so it kills you. Which is my issue right now, because I need to temporarily disable the hack at the end of this so I can beat it. Alright, hack is disabled. Leave it off for a minute. There we go. Alright, we're out of there. Yulian. Yeah, it's pretty fun so far. It's leading to some interesting scenarios. And uh, I'm doing an all worlds. Oops, that was stupid. Um, I'm doing an all worlds run, but I'm not doing every level. I'm trying to avoid situations where it's impossible, but I think doing four in a pure clean run is a bit above my skill level. So did five, had to disable it for a minute. It's fine. Oh yeah, this would make a fun race. We can race that in the future if you want. Alright, so how am I going to do this? Um, might have to disable the hack for like most of this level. Because like I said, if I bop anything... Oops, well I didn't even bop it. Um, you have to hold down one of the shoulder buttons and it'll disable the hack. Disable the hack as long as it's held down. It's also a smart hack in most situations, so I'm curious if it's disabled for this level like automatically. And... it's not. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, there are situations where it's not possible like this, but what can you do? But if I just hold down the button, it makes it a little jingle, and I'm free to pop anything I want. So I will just hold that down for this level, and um, I'll only use the turtles or the uh, beetles to make progress. I won't get power up still or get coins or anything. Alright, hack is back on for the moment. Pretty sure I need it again. The jingle doesn't know how to handle the uh, cave SNES reverb. That's pretty funny. Hack is back on! All good. Alright, I have to pop one of these, so... Let's take this dude with us. And- oh! I love go of it too early. We were at the end too. Yep, can't break a single block. Which is why I have to disable the hack while I do this stuff. But on the plus side, I'll be small for probably the majority of the hack, so... I won't accidentally bot blocks very often, if ever. Alright, hack is disabled. Please jump before it wakes up. Oh, I need to hold it down. Alright, hold it down. Bopping. Oh. It's fine. Stuff res- No! <laughs> yeah, goals automatically, like, make a pointless- or a pointless route, kind of. Weird to do. Um, this isn't- this is as pointless as it possibly can be, so... It's coinless and pointless. Like, just getting points will kill you, which is why killing enemies kills you. It's not because the enemies are dead, it's because it gives you points. Alright, hack is back on. Anytime you hear that jingle, it's me disabling the hack so I can actually do things. 
I've had to do it, I think, uh, three times so far. Like, I absolutely had to, or otherwise I couldn't beat the game. That's all safe. Alright, this part again. Lure you. Let's get you. Hold it down. Okay. Uh. Okay, wait for that to get off screen. We're good. We are out of there. Airship 2. Is there a hammer bro running around here somewhere still? Oh, I never got the toad house. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, oh, this hack was made specifically for Raokao. Like a member of the, of the forums made it for him. Um, okay, I guess there is nothing. Oh yeah, it's the hammer bro behind the rock that I heard. Never mind. I'm surprised I never added the ability to let you skip this. Um, he is currently playing it. I think he's in the Sky World now. I haven't really been watching it though. Because I kind of wanted to play it for myself and be surprised before I watched his version. What I'm really, really worried about are the ships that go up and down a lot, like right now. But I think this is the only part that this ship does it, so it's not so bad. Alright, it's trying not to crash. One moment, please. There we go. I don't know, I'll, uh, I should watch it and make sure there's not any updates that'll make it, like, crashless or something. It's hosted on Super Mario World Central, so I mean it's it's a public hack now. There we go. Was worried about that part, but it wasn't so bad. Now I can be worried about this part, like it should be. Alright, these guys jump. I think this guy jumps. No! Alright, let's use one of those power-ups. So Fire Flower is super dangerous to use. Um, I think it's probably good to use in this level because there's not much I can actually kill with it. I just need to be careful not to use it when I'm at those wrench throwing guys again. In fact, it might benefit me just to like get myself hit here so I can lose the Fire Flower. But we're gonna do what we can. Because, yeah, even if I want to start running, I have to throw out a fireball, so... Very dangerous. Okay, yeah, that's for the best, because I'm coming up on the wrench part now. Just have to not lose it or bop an enemy, and... I should be fine for the boss. Unless I'm really bad at the game. Which is a very real possibility. There we go. Didn't even need it. It would be interesting to see if anyone can do anything else with this. Like maybe disable it for whole levels where it's required. Alright, I think this is a trash item. I think it's a cloud we get. 
Yeah, so probably not a whole lot of use for that. All right, I think water levels should actually be pretty easy because I can't kill anything here without a fire flower. I wanted to be small. Oh! <laughs> I forgot I was playing a ROM hack for a second. Hey, now. Alright. Don't collect a coin like an idiot. Don't get thrown into a coin either. That'd be bad. Let's throw this guy this way. I think it's like the first game where those guys are- where uh, jellyfish are influenced by the direction you're looking, so... Dodging these shouldn't ever be too bad. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you. Any enemies? No, we're out of there. All right. What's this level going to be like? Oh, I, I might get bopped by a fish from the bottom at any point. That's fun. So this I'm safe if I just don't jump. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, back up a little bit right here. Be very mindful of where they're coming from, so back then forward. Alright, so totally underwater levels should be easy. These levels will be terrible. Forward. This guy's gonna be forward. Uh, uh, oh no! <laughs> Alright, I really gotta land like right at the edge of that platform, I think. It is just back forward, back forward, though, so I should be fine at the beginning parts. Or was it forward, back, forward, back? I have no short-term memory, so this will be a fun experience. Oh, they kind of follow me, so I should probably just bait him and move. I am learning about Mario 3 Fish AI. So I should start forward, then go back once I get closer. Or I should just go like way back. Let's go way back and see what happens. Okay, yeah, he definitely follows me. I could also just try jumping, but who wants to do that? In a Mario game, I mean, come on. There we go, lore. Uh, okay. Should be good, should be- No! At least it was a regular death and not a I'm dumb death. Ooh, spicy. So that fish hasn't... Oops. Alright, just gotta do that part quick. Shouldn't be bad. Then I can struggle with that jump I have to do. Hooray! Oh, 
I think that jump's gonna be the star of the show in this level. I should just jump at the end. Just ignore the last fish. Alright, I think I got this part down now. It does. At least the fish in the back isn't ever going to be an issue. Alright, lower this dude. Don't even worry about this dude. There you go. Alright, I think I should be able to make this jump. Uh, don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Well, I got the first part at least. Now the level begins. Lure you. Lure you. Oh, went too far. <sighs> oh, that was. <laughs> Don't jump and look at chat. Will the Hammer Brother fight me before I actually get past this level? Lure you. Lure you. Oh. Was not forward enough. Okay, I thought I had this part. I'm gonna fight the hammer rail before beating the second world. It's fine. Oh. Yeah, these suck. <laughs> Alright. I've got this. What hit? Oh, it actually hit me! I think the fish is changing their AI. I, I'm calling foul. Alright, well, there's no other point in using a star except for Hammer Bros, so... Might as well. Wait! You're supposed to be smart, video game! Alright, so I should probably not be as forward on the platform as I am. Maybe like right here, because I think that's where I was about before. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Julian. Oh, I was supposed to jump the last one. Okay, now we've cracked the code. Why is 3-2 the first level like this? Fish, jump. <laughs> and jump. Okay, we've got it. All right, let's try this jump again. I hate this jump already. Um, can I just run through? Okay, I think I might be able to just like swim near the death pit at the bottom if I get to that point. Oops. That's too far back. This is very specific. It's one of those situations where I wish I could get through more consistently so I can practice that actually super hard part, but here we are. Mario 3 swimming also kind of sucks compared to like Super Mario World and such. Alright, let's go.
went down too far, even though I pushed the swim button. I mean, I don't think it'll, like, hurt me to try. No idea how I'm going to do this. <laughs> Well, it's the first time I actually hit the coin, so at least there's that. I have no idea if the coin hitboxes are, like, small enough for me to make that jump, but... Learning experiences. I'd rather overshoot than undershoot and die. In fact... Oh, I went way too high. A frog suit would be super good, but the frog suit's in that house right up there. Because then I can just swim in a straight line. Or tank hits. Yeah, I've got this part at least. Okay, yeah. There's no way I'm making that jump. The hitbox is too large. Alright, so I better get really good at swimming really fast. didn't bait. I was holding my breath that entire time. Woo! Don't bop. Okay. <laughs> oh, we are out of there. All right, let's learn how to deal with you. Let's get the power up first. That's always a frog suit. Yeah, that's uh, what I was thinking I was that was gonna happen. I wasn't sure if there was enough space on the very right of the screen or not. All right, yeah, I can. I just have to get good at this. I, this is doable. I also have to hold down the button because apparently these ones don't count. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Um, I do have a P-Wing if I absolutely need it, but I can also skip a level. So there is always false hope. Okay. Um, I should just, like, run. Because I'm stopping and thinking, and that's killing me. Okay, just run. No thoughts, head empty! Okay, I can hit note blocks. Fine. I can't get the power up, but I'm not dead. So I'll take it. Alright, what fun is up ahead? 
don't know what's up ahead. Uh, okay, no problem. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. No problem. I know he's there now. I don't know. I'm feeling... Oh. <laughs> Stealth bopped. Am I just jumping too early? What's going on here? It worked the first time. Alright, no thoughts. Just gonna hold forward and see what happens. Okay, yeah, this is what I need to do, and then get eaten. <sighs> I really love that fish. Oh, jump! Why didn't you jump? <laughs> okay, I guess that part's just gonna be like totally random if I live or not because I don't even see that fish coming. Alright, holding right. Okay, I can just hold right and not worry about it, I think. If I just like it's pretty tight, but all right, I know this guy's there. You killed me, you jerk. Hell you. Yep. All right, what's up ahead? This is new. This is new. It's not hard, but it's new, so it's get Oh, oh, what's this? Is this possible to run jump across? Well. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that part's just super tight. If I just get P-speed and run through, I will be fine. I might have to push the no hacky button. This part is easy. Uh! Okay, this is not possible, so I'll have to do the cheat button. Oops. Actually, wait. I want to try being really dumb first. Oh, I can just jump between those. That's fine, then. Hey, hey, that's a hitbox you have there, friend. I guess it's just like the center of his face. Alright, so there's like a gap. But I don't know if I can survive any amount of time under Big Bertha. I'm gonna try it, because I think there's like a one tile gap in the coins. Okay, yeah, I... I think I have to be basically like frame perfect and get under and stay under. So yeah, not worth it. Just gonna disable my way through there. So yeah, I think I got this level now. Just have to pull it all together. It is not very hard, fortunately. Okay, so power up blocks don't give you points by themselves. Good to know. In case I ever need to ricochet off one or something. Okay, from here I need to disable the hack. 
Well, I still need to play the game, so I should watch out for that fish. Let's do that again. Got this. Watch out for cheap cheeps this time. Hack is disabled. All right, hack is enabled. Uh, okay, we're we're in there. Go in, go in. Okay, thank you. Make sure there's something at the end here. We're all good. Out of there. <laughs> The cheap cheap disabled me. All right. Fortress or three fortress. Fortresses shouldn't be too bad. Most of them, maybe. This hack is making me like rethink everything I know about these hacks. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Easy. I like how you never really know if a level's gonna be difficult or not. Alright, let's actually do this. Aw. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping they would both go up. Let me fight you again, friend. Ooh, I like this one. Wait, so disable, disable, because I don't trust the hack for this part anymore. All right, we got it. That's the easy one. All right, four, five. I'm going to do five because that's an underwater level. Careful. Ooh. All right, watch out for jet streams. It's really hard to see what you're doing with the like transparency filter in this version. In the original Mario 3, it's just like perfectly blue and clear, but this has like a little hazy filter over it. Okay, I'm just gonna go under all that. That'll be easier, I think. Let's look at four, just for fun. What is four? Oh, four is a level I don't see very often. Let's see what this is like, because why not? <gasps> okay. Oh wait, I need to... Disable the hack for a second so I can hit that block. There we go. There we go. Rude. Alright, back to the water level. Well, yeah, I can, can't I? Kinda wanna go back and try that. Hack disabled, there we go. A star I can never use, great. Alright, back to the water. Might benefit me to use my frog suit here, because there's really not much in the- Actually, I might want to uh, save it for that one scrolling water level. Maybe. Alright, so that's a lot safer. Let's go up here. 
Might be safe to just take the surface for a bit. Avoid the coins that way. Well, I still have to avoid regular things. I'm like so focused on not hitting coins and stuff I should be hitting that I'm hitting at regular enemies. Alright, this level's gonna be easy to learn though, so no big deal. Come on now. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm gonna try out the frog suit. I'm probably never gonna use it otherwise. Just gotta not immediately lose it. That would be good. Don't get blown in the coins, very good. Alright, let's make sure it's safe down here. Zoom. Oh, that's mean. Invisible block might, like, Kaizo kill me, like, straight up. Alright. What's going on over here? Let's lure you. Yeah, you're out of my way now. Alright, we're out of there. Hopefully there's no weird stuff at the end. We're good. Um, it's closer to SMB1 than Super Mario World, but it's still better than SMB1, I think. All right, let's go item hunting. I can do all these item toad houses without getting points, so of course I'm going to. Oh good, a frog suit I probably won't use. Yeah, this was Super Mario World post or er, Super Mario World swimming. I would be a lot more comfortable doing a uh, three two would have been zero issue swimming through the whole thing because I could just like tap and hold down rhythmically all right some good stuff fire flower scares me a bit but it's fine Alright, I think this is another big Bertha level. The harder one. Oh wait, no it's not. It's the auto-scroller, for some reason. The frog suit is absolutely gonna kill me, like, no doubt. Like, I should just jump off now. Scouting ahead, at least. I think I can throw these without penalty. Yeah. Oh, I should get down. Wait, no, I shouldn't go down there. That was a terrible choice. All right. So I need to jump over those three coins, I think. Put the turtle in a good place. I guess the frog suit makes up for it because the frog suit is like perfect for swing. You just go in a straight line. You out of the way. Okay, I need to jump much sooner. I'm like scared of that turtle, but it should be too much. There we go. 
the beginning is super easy, so at least there's that. I think the uh, auto scroller in World 1 was harder than this, honestly. Oh, that didn't kill me somehow. Maybe uh, it disabled shiny blocks hitting blocks, or maybe it never gave you points in the first place. This might be dangerous. Uh, oh, what? What is that hitbox? Okay, the block broke. I didn't hit anything. Never mind. Please hurry. Please hurry. Okay, maybe I need to. S maybe I just need to jump it. Wait, no, I don't think that'll work either. I'm not sure with that part yet, but it's a tight jump either way. Oh, auto scrollers. I think after this world will be a good place to call it, unless I get, like, stuck on a super hard level at some point. Yeah, I'm super unsure if... well, I just need to wait, it's fine. It's a better strategy anyway. Nothing I want to bother with down there. Just jump over you. Uh oh. Uh, don't like it. I don't like it. <gasps> okay, good. That's that's a scary part. <laughs> okay, all good. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, whatever. Oh, okay, well, I got the level now. It's all good. I was not expecting that last Koopa. Well, I assume it's last anyway. There might be one at the end I have to lure. Yeah, this part just got away. That's easy. Don't know why I was throwing me off so much. Oh no, I have to do this part again. Oh no! <gasps> oh, okay. Only peed a little bit. We're out of there. Uh, well, I guess I have to go here. All right, I don't think the level should be much of an issue. I like these enemies. I wish they would use some more. I say that now, but hey now, everyone calm down. Well, gotta look ahead and then I can like see the things coming at me. I can also try this now. I know I'm gonna hate this level, like absolutely gonna hate this level. Well, if I actually, like, jumped and tried, that would help. 
All right, got to juggle two levels for a while. That'll be fun. All right, the beginning's easy. This part's mean. All right. So I have two levels to learn, unless I can beat this one before I beat the other one. Um, okay, I'm safe here. There's really no enemies to speak of, except for that, like, one turtle. Hopefully there's not many cheap cheeps in this- oh! Hmm. Alright, so I gotta wait a little bit for that section to rise, and then do a long jump. Let's dash through there really quick. Hey, 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 hey. I no longer like those enemies. Throwing that out there. Good night, Julian. Abandoning me before my next brick wall. All right, and uh, welcome new people joining. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm doing a run where I can't collect any points or coins. Um, if I do, I automatically die. So, fun times. All right, I need to like long jump from here though. I need to not die. Okay, I didn't do either of those things. Wait, I have an idea. It's called Fly Over World 8. <laughs> can't think of many better levels to use my first P-Wing on. Let's run. Okay, this level is called Run Before Anything Happens. Oops. See ya! <laughs> Alright, so I definitely have to be careful in case there's, like, coins in the air. Because this level goes up pretty high. Like, right here, I'm just gonna, like, stop and wait and make sure there's nothing ab above me. Oh yeah, would have had to have gone up there. <laughs> Peace wing indeed. Gonna have to use those incredibly sparingly though, but that's a super annoying level to deal with. Especially with there being two levels. And I have a power up for like the first time in a re like a regular power up in a regular level. This sucks. Oh, that sucks a lot. <laughs> Alright, so I guess it's better to be small. Um, probably always. I should say if I haven't done that in a while. There we go. Don't die like an idiot, thank you. Yeah, just run up there before anything happens. This is all fine. Everything is fine. Alright, game is trying not to crash. One second. Holding left so I don't get yeeted by the bomb. There we go. So I can definitely grab these and break these. I just can't hit anything. Yeah, or just do that. That works too. Okay, that's not a coin. Good to know. That broke. Good, good, good. Oh wait. Okay, good. Was well, already was gonna kill that fish because I knew there was a fish down here. Oh, I can't get like any of the cool bonuses in the levels either, which means I can't get like the second to nuke or the second hammer suit. Oh well, 
Anything over here? Nope. All right, not bad at all. All right, we are almost done. I could have also used my cloud, which probably would have been a better idea. Well, actually it wouldn't have been, because if I died on the next level, I would have gone back anyway. Alright, is this the, like the super fire level, or whatever? Because that would be cool, because that would mean I didn't have to worry about killing anything. Well, there's wrench dudes. Oh, there's stuff I have to worry about. Oh yeah, I can just walk on those. I don't have to be so scared of him. Well, that sucks. Get in the thing. There you go. I appreciate that. It doesn't make you watch the cutscene every time. I was, of course, of habit playing there. I think I'll be fine if I just wait for it to go. Oh, don't like this. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm doing the fortress level. I don't think there's much to worry about on this one, so should be fine. It should just mostly be a regular level. As far as I can remember. If I, like, play good, anyway. You just gotta wait a second. I think for this is a fortress, I usually just like take a hit and go through and never bother to learn those patterns. But it's easy, it's fine. Just a boom boom fight, don't have to worry about points. Still have to worry about level 7. See, just run, and it's fine. Well, not that fast. Could you move ship? I would really appreciate it. Oh, well, this is fine. Alright, ship! We've got this. Alright, so this time, wait for the bullet bill to fire. There we go. That's all I wanted. Ooh! Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Well, probably not really. Just have to be better prepared for it. Where'd you go? I wasn't looking. You are over there. Great. Alright, back to level 7. Oops. Oh good. Oh good. Don't hit me! Let's just go over. It's fine.
No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. <clears throat> okay, very good. I think there's someone at the end here. Yeah, so this gotta lure you far away. You just do your thing. It's fun. Oh, no, you're still here. All right, so I gotta really lure you over here. I think if I'm just not jumping or anything, I'll be fine. This is so dumb. We're good. Uh, no, it's a. I think it's like two screens, maybe a screen and a half. So it's pretty easy to lower most things off the screen, but for things like Lakitos, it's going to be really tricky. We did it. We have lives. Oh no! Okay. Thought I was too short for that jump. Anyway, I thought I was going to bop the last wrench guy, but we're fine. <laughs> that part is spicy. Think this is the end? Yeah. All right, Wendy's kind of a pain. Let's do it. Oh, I missed. No, I should have just stayed in the corner. We're almost there. We've got this. No more levels to get in our way. Do it. Oh, rude. <laughs> it waited for me. It knew. Don't shoot me across the world. What's wrong with you? Oh, I should go get that mushroom house if I die again. Uh, guess you're over here. Oh, I don't like this part at all. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, you can wall jump, but it's like sub-pixel perfect. Let's grab this toad house while we're here. If there's like a mushroom or a flower, I might- or a- no. Well, it's a flower. Um. Yeah, why not use it? Because uh, there's not much stuff to kill in this level anyway. And then if I can actually make it to the end... Oops, I didn't actually use anything. Oh well. Maybe next time. Still thinking about it. The hitboxes on the bullets are so big is the main issue. Please fire. Please fire. Thank- Oh!
We're in there. All right, round two. Do your jump. <gasps> Got it. Okay. Woohoo! World three is done. Our first pretty challenging world. Alright, I think uh, Three Worlds is a pretty good stream, so 4, 5, 6, and 7 I'll probably break it up just because I know those are probably going to be hellish at some point. So yeah, we got the first three levels done. We got a music box that's probably going to be useless to us. Um, I'm super curious to see how Giant World is going to be, but we'll have to see that next time. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next stream.